Business professionals, listen up. The mobile industry has exploded in recent years and is growing faster than any other industry in history. Users are turning to their mobile devices more than ever before to search, play, shop, and access the stuff they love on the go. Let, Let us build your very own mobile app. Manny's Apps is now making it possible for anyone to be able to get their own mobile app universal on every device, including desktops and laptops, while also available to download on your favorite app stores like Apple and Android with incredible features like online ordering, offer coupons, one touch click to call, appointment scheduling, loyalty stamp program, maps and directions, video coaching integration, social media integration, and even sell products, services, event tickets, and music all right from your app. Did you know 95% of text messages are read within 90 seconds? That's, That's right. right! And get unlimited push notifications with your app, which are like text messages to your users. Visit www.mannysapps.com for more information. Or text Manny right now at 714-603-1114 to talk about getting your own exclusive mobile app with the man himself. Bye for now! I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world that's place in the Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new PLS Tips with Manny. Uh, I'm your host, Manny Lopez, and today we're going to be talking about mobile marketing. Do you market your business on mobile devices yet? Is your website mobile friendly? Do you have a mobile app yet for your company? These are the types of things that your business is going to need in the next coming months. And I mean months uh, to where businesses now are going to have to have a mobile presence. So I know a lot of things right now are switching towards more social media and, uh, and networking and stuff like that. But it's very, very powerful to make sure that your business is being presented on mobile because that's what people are using. So today I'm going to show you guys some stats on why you should be using mobile and a couple of different tools that you can do uh, to actually start putting yourself in front of these people. So I found this infographic online. Uh, it's from the mobile landscape. And um, what I want to do is just kind of go over some of the stats here. It's just staggering uh, the amount of stuff that you can do with mobile. Uh, so first things first is right now there is 1.4 billion mobile users, right? 1.4 billion. That's just amount as many people that are on Facebook right now. So you've got that many people right now, that's one in seven, uh, that actually not are mobile users, okay, but actual smartphone users, okay? These are people that have um, smartphones, like iPhones, Androids, Galaxies, it's, you know, those, uh, those Touchstone, you know, Blackberries, things, those are smartphones, okay? Um, so that's how many people have smartphone devices. That's a lot of people. Now, next one we have is 57%. This is the percentage of users who won't recommend companies with poor mobile sites. Okay, that's almost 60% people. 60% of people are not going to be recommending your business if it is not mobile friendly. All right, so that's something you want to take into account. Another thing right here the average American spends almost two hours a day on a mobile device. Okay, that's 57,000 hours in a lifetime. They'll be sitting staring at their screen. Okay, that's a lot of time and a lot of real estate that you can utilize to put your business in front of them because. There's something they're focused on. I mean, you see it every day. People walking into poles, walking into cars, getting hit by cars because they're staring at their phone. They don't see what's around them. They're so focused on that little screen and you can put yourself in front of them. Uh, and it's a very, very unique way to do it. And right now it's very, very cost effective. Um, another fact is one in four online searches are conducted on mobile devices. So when they're searching for a business, they're searching for a local restaurant, they're searching for a home-based business, they're searching for that opportunity they just looked at. They're searching that on their mobile device, one in four are. Uh, by 2015, which is just by next year, mobile marketing in the U.S. will generate $400 billion compared to $139 billion in 2012. Okay, that's very, very big numbers, guys. That means this market is doing nothing but growth very very big growth okay 
uh, mobile market share right now. The most popular uh, platform right now is Android with 52% of the market share. Uh, Apple is 40% uh, of the market share and uh, other which is going to be uh, the Windows platform and Blackberry's platform that holds a total of 8%. Um, the next one, a most popular smartphone. Okay, uh, This is the uh, most popular actual physical device which is uh, right now Apple with 41% of the market share. Samsung is catching up very, very quickly uh, with right now 25% of the market share, which probably jumped up very big with that new S5 release, which I know these numbers are not including. So uh, take that into consideration as well. They've got record-breaking numbers for that S5. Um, and the 34% uh, is the other categories of everything else inclusive outside of Samsung and Apple, which are the two dominant players in the smartphone market. Uh, the next thing you have is the tablet market share, which is by far uh, Apple. Apple, 88% of the market share is hosted by the tablet for Apple. So take that into consideration if you want to target anything with tablet market, geared it towards Apple. Uh, the next in line is Samsung right now with the Galaxy Tab. It's got about 9% of the market share. Um, and then Amazon's Kindle Fire holds about 3%. Okay. Uh, next thing we got, types of mobile marketing available. Right now there's app-based, which is having your own smartphone app uh, like I do with Manny's app. Uh, I've got another one, Filters app, and we've got a ton, tons right now that are in the works, including, uh, actually I won't, I won't mention it until it's done. Uh, it's a very big announcement of who we're actually building an app for right now. Very, very big name in the, uh, in the networking industry. Uh, motivational speaking industry. Uh, you'll definitely know the name if I mention it, but right now we'll wait till everything is live, launched, until we uh, to launch that kind of stuff. So uh, app-based right now, 45% of U.S. mobile marketing campaigns employ app downloads. Okay, 45%. That's almost half of the marketing campaigns are through mobile apps. There's a reason why. Okay, one of the most powerful tools that you have with a mobile app right now is the ability for push notifications okay now one of the most expensive way of marketing right now is text message marketing here's why it is the one probably the most effective form of marketing today here's the stat on that 95 percent of text messages are read within the first 90 seconds of receipt let me repeat that 95 percent of text messages are read within 90 seconds of receipt 90 seconds okay nothing comes close i mean second best at best uh would be email marketing and that's what 20 30 percent open rate uh within a 24-hour period i mean nothing is going to come close to mobile marketing which why text message marketing is very expensive usually like three cents up to three cents five cents a text message being sent the cool thing about apps is uh something that my company also includes as well is unlimited push notifications features that are built into these apps, which means every single person that downloads your app, you can now send a text message to at any time with anything that you'd wanna say. And it doesn't cost you anything, and it doesn't cost the receiver anything. A lot of times when they're sending out, you know, text 501c3 or somewhere, whatever, 50523 uh, to, uh, you know, or keyword to some number, you know, they always say data messages, rate, data rate, whatever they say, extra data cost may apply. You don't have that with uh, push notifications, which is why people love apps. Plus the ability to have just the customization of, of having an app. You get the ability to put it on an app store, uh, like the Google Play Store, you got the Apple Store. Um, you've got the ability to uh, put to guy, you know, unique type of, um, what do they call it? Animation graphics, graphics animation with, uh, with having apps. Um, just a lot of cool things on that, but uh, we'll touch on that a little bit later. Uh, mobile search ads is another way that you can market through mobile. 59% of people find mobile search ads useful. So almost 60% of people see that ads on mobile devices are actually useful, not annoying. You know, a lot of people, they see TV now and they've got, you know, five minutes of ads between an eight minute segment on uh, of what you're watching. So, I mean, it's crazy how so many more ads are being put in front of you. I mean, it's just crazy. There's just, you know, ads on your phone. There's ads on your TV. There's ads on your computer screen. There's ads when you walk out your door. There's ads when you walk into a store. There's people talking to you that are digitally created saying, hey, thank you for joining our store or coming by a store. Check out this crazy feature. Um, 
So there's just advertising everywhere and to know that 60%, almost 60% of people find mobile advertising useful because the cool thing about it is that it's you know, something they can swipe through. Um, it's a small ad. It doesn't take up all you know, their whole screen. Or I mean, it could. Some ads do take up their whole screen. Um, but I don't know. I mean, it's a stat that that's looking favorable. So that's good. Uh, mobile image ads is another way. Uh, basically, banner ads on, on cell phones. So you can do those within your own app. You can do those on your mobile site. Um, you can put image ads anywhere. You know, a lot of people offer them on their own site where they hey drive lots of traffic and you know they they pay for banner clicks. Uh, consumers look at native ads 25% more than banner ads. So native ads, uh, mobile image ads. I guess what they're mainly talking about would be uh, native ads within your own uh, maybe your own app, your own website. Uh, but banner ads, I would think, would be pretty much similar to mobile ads. So I'll look into a little bit more on how those work and how different native ads would be more than banner ads, something I have to learn a little bit more myself. Uh, SMS, SMS coupons redeemed eight times more than emailed offers. Okay, think about that. Eight times more. That means you're doing eight times more work by emailing your coupons versus texting them. Okay, now people like emailing them because email is free right you know you can do an email campaign uh, send out to 10,000 people it doesn't cost you a dime usually right you have an email service you're usually paying monthly for like 30 bucks a month maybe power lead system uh, that you're sending out 30,000 emails a month it doesn't cost you anything right it's just that you know, whatever you're paying on your power lead system and the SMS if you do SMS marketing usually you're paying per text so if you're sending out a thousand texts and that's three cents a text I mean, every message you're sending out, what, 30 bucks here, 30 bucks there, 30 bucks there. It can get expensive. It's effective, but it's expensive. That's why people like using a mobile app, having your own native app, because what that can do is you use push notifications. If you've got a thousand people you're sending a text message out to, bam, push notifications, just like an email. You're getting the same response as a text message, but getting the cost of an email service. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Uh, QR codes. 40% of people purchase an item after scanning QR codes. 40%. That's almost half, guys. That's a lot. That's a big number right there. So QR codes, that's something you can also utilize on your business cards, on your flyers, uh, on your landing pages for your app downloads. Um, so you can do stuff like that. Uh, you also have local ads will account for 58% of national mobile ad spending by 2016. So more than half, almost 60%, of these ads are going to be coming through mobile spending. So uh, as you can see, we're just shifting towards a new realm. We're getting off of these big bulky desktop computers and laptops, and we're going towards these cell phones and tablets, which my kids are playing on right now. So um, you, you just got to get yourself acclimated to where people are going, where your consumers are going, and drive yourself that way as well. Um, doesn't mean you need to just ditch your website and ditch having all this stuff. No, everyone's going to still be utilizing that stuff. But you got to have yourself available on these newer platforms as well. Okay, this is something that's very important if you want your business to grow. Because if you just stay where people were, you'll get this people. You know, as you know, they were that they were there. But as they're shifting, you're going to be losing more and more customers as they go by. You know, just like with people that have old outdated websites they have these outdated websites that they've had 10 years ago that 10 years ago were just booming i mean they were making sales left and right and just think man i've got this perfect website this is generating me tons and tons of sales 10 years later though that website is not getting any sales anymore but they're reluctant to change because they saw how effective it was before but people are not using those same outdated websites anymore they're seeing these more newer modern html5 and and WordPress designs and different styles that are giving them something that's more new, more modern. And that's what people like. That's where they drift towards. And that's why you see these modern companies that are just coming out there and just making a killing very quickly, very fast, and just being able to sell their company for billions of dollars to like Facebook and, and, and things like that. I mean, you see these modern tech giant companies just come out and just kill it because they have social media to be able to reach people, millions of people instantly that they can do this with. And now you have the ability to reach on a broader audience at a fraction of the cost as it was before. So you just have a way to be able to reach people effectively and you want to get yourself in front of them as many times as you can. It's a numbers game. The more people are in front of your business, the more people are going to buy your product. It's just you got to put the right people 
in front of your business and not the wrong people. Just don't blanket everybody. You got to target your marketing. And that's something that you can do easily with mobile and with target and social media marketing and the online stuff that we're able to do because people are using the online tools like social media to put everything about themselves out there. They're typing their stuffs in their emails of what interests they have. They're shopping online and bookmarking their favorite sites of where they're buying their stuff at. And this is all stuff being tracked by these online companies like Google and Facebook and stuff. And we're able to utilize that technology now to put ourselves and our businesses in front of them as many times as we want. Make sense? I'm sure it does. All right, uh, here's another stat here. Mobile ad revenue will more than double to 24.5 billion by 2016. More than double, all right? 2012 was 100, I forget what the number was, but 24 and a half billion dollars by 2016. Crazy numbers, all right? Uh, let's see here. Now, here's how apps are gonna be changing the mobile market. So there's something that you should be rethinking your strategy on. 85% of people, or actually the percentage of users who prefer native mobile apps to mobile websites, 85%, okay? They would rather browse your site on a native app, which is something like this, let me show you. So I have a mobile website would be like, they go to your site, you know, blah, 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 dot com. A native app would mean they go to an app store and they download your app from a phone, from the from the app store, from Apple or from Google Play. That is what a native app is. And 85% people are more, not more likely, but 85% of people, they prefer your native app versus your mobile website, okay? Seven in 10 apps are more commonly built for the iOS than Android. So basically saying that 70% of your apps are more commonly built for Apple than they are for Android, even though Android is now surpassed Apple even though, but before, obviously, everyone knew that Apple was the place to go. Um, four times, okay, this is um, Apple apps generate four times the revenue compared to Android app. So, which means that you have more buyers on Apple platforms. So, if you want to build an app that is where people are going to purchase, people are going to have to uh, pay to download, Apple is where you want to kind of focus your marketing on because you have four times the amount of buyers on Apple than you do on Android. Uh, so more free, then you know you can probably gear towards more Android since you do have more users. Uh, 224 million monthly active mobile app users in the United States. So right now there's 224 million people in the United States, which means there's only 350 or so million people in the United States in total, but 224 million mobile app users. Okay, mobile app users, not mobile website users, mobile app users. Okay, smartphone users, people that download apps. Uh, the top five smartphone apps, um, I mean, these are just normal stuff. Facebook, Google, YouTube, Pandora, typical stuff. Uh, who is on mobile? All right, so here's the types of people that are on mobile devices. Uh, two thirds of smartphone and tablet users access uh, social networks from these devices. Uh, more two and a half times, uh, mobile LinkedIn users are more than twice as active than desktop only users. Uh, the growth of mobile advertising is 15.8% of Facebook controlled. Let me just read again. 15.8%. This is percentage. Facebook controlled almost 16% of the global ad market in uh, 2013. So basically, almost 16% of the ad market on the mobile came directly from Facebook directly. So uh, it's a big, big share just from one company. Uh, more than 60% of Twitter's ad revenue will come from mobile advertising by 2015. So by next year, more than half of their revenue is going to be coming through mobile. So people know, the big companies already know where it's going, and that's where they're shifting their stuff at. So you've got to really catch on where, where these people are headed. Uh, and then U.S. social media ad revenues are expected to reach $11 billion by 2017. Wow. So that is a very, very big amount. It's a multi-billion dollar industry that is just being created right now, guys. It is literally in its infancy. We're only, I mean, very, very small amount. I mean, the what, first smartphone came out just a little over a decade ago. So, and we just now getting the shift of people going from their desktops and these laptops to now seeing that how powerful these little cell phones are. They can do just as bad as everything that these desktops and laptops can do now from the palm of your hand. So this is where everything's going, guys. 
Uh, a little, couple of things that I'm doing in my business right now is that we recently just launched a new mobile app uh, creation platform. So you can actually get a professionally built mobile app. Um, you don't have to go and spend tens of thousands of dollars or even thousands of dollars to get your own mobile app. Um, we've got apps starting as low as $99. So you can literally have a one-time fee app uh, and build it, uh, have our team build it. You literally pick, chooses, you know, pick and choose features that you want to include right on the platform, uh, which you can see, you'll notice a new website at the bottom there listed, mannysapps.com. You guys want to check that out. We've got uh, a brand new platform that we're launching and in the month of May, which is just another 15 more days, you got two more weeks. Uh, in the month of May, you can secure your app with no monthly. That means it's a one-time cost. That's it. Your app is live on the app stores, uh, on Apple, on Android. It's on, um, you've got a, it's basically a six in one app. You've got a desktop version of your app. You've got a mobile website version. You've, as soon as they go to the mobile website, it, it prompts them to download the actual app through the app store. Uh, you can even have a mobile redirect code right on your website. So if somebody was to go to your site from a mobile device, they would instantly be taken to your app. So you don't have to take them to a, uh, a messed up version of your desktop site. Um, a lot of websites right now are not mobile friendly, so that's something that'd be very, very powerful. And you have that unlimited push notifications feature, guys. You are able to send out an unlimited amount of push notifications to your users. You can text message them all day long. I mean, don't do that, obviously. You're just going to spam the heck out of them. But you're able to send them a message, say you got a new event, you got a training call, you've got, um, you've got a, uh, a Facebook event, you got a live event, whatever, anything that you want to do, a new promotion, a product launch, Anything that you'd want to share with them, you just log into your dashboard, send out the message, click send, and you can even target it local. So if you want to say, if it's a local event, say you're doing a a face-to-face -face event with a bunch of people in your local network, but you've got app downloaders from across the world. So you can literally put, I want to put either from a radius of one mile to up to a thousand miles of saying, this is where I want to reach uh, this, this uh, push notification slash text message. Uh, to all my users, but I don't want it going past 50 miles. Anybody outside of 50 miles, don't send them this message. Okay, so you instantly send that message and bam, you're good to go. So that's the type of thing that we're really wanting to grab on, guys, is really taking on the mobile. And of course, me and my company, we're always gravitating towards the newer trends. Uh, what's funny is that we tried this mobile app platform uh, a couple years ago. Uh, when we first launched our company about a year and a half in, uh, we launched the mobile app platform and we were doing just iPhone apps. We weren't doing anything on Android because Android had very, very small market share. and uh, Nobody was really on the, on the, on the uh, Android market yet. And plus it would be a whole new app platform. And we'd have to create uh, Android uh, and then we'd have to create an Apple uh, app and then we'd have to create the mobile website. And so we'd have all of these different uh, tools that we were building and it just it just wasn't catching on. I mean, we would we would generate sales for it. We have clients, and you know, we generate a lot of business from it. But it was just something that was not getting people the results that I expected the results to get, um, because people just weren't gravitating toward the mobile yet. But now that it's really just everywhere. I mean, you've got uh, billions of apps being downloaded. You've got um, you know, you've got so much market share as you can see from all these stats I've shared. That now is the perfect time to really get your business on the mobile platform. Um, and what's really cool is that you can really integrate everything that you're doing online. Like right now I'm building an app for a guy who's got 500 uh, domains. He's got 500 domains he has and he wants to build a website for every single one of those domains. And he's got them attached for something. Um, and this way he, he can literally, he's got you know all these different companies he affiliates with. And, uh, and so what we're doing is we building him an app and this app is literally gonna have um, uh, a button for every single one of his products and so they click on it and it gives them the landing page uh, that we created through power lead system uh, for every single one of the products so it instantly grabs their information and then we'll take them right to uh, that person's sales page or the e-commerce page where they can buy the product or sign up as an affiliate or become a member a customer or whatnot uh, and it's just just literally you know target every single product that he wants on there uh, and it's all in one place so you say hey you know, send me, you know, your website. What, what kind of things are you selling? They'll just download my app. Everything is on my app. You know, you go to my app and, well, I'll show you kind of how it looks. We're building it out for them right now.
All right. So here's how, I mean, you probably can't see it too well, but we make a button for each one of them right there. And then also it's going to be available on here as well. So like, for example, you know, the, uh, the five tools. So they literally go on here and on the app itself, right on the apps, you can see his banner at the top. You can see the thing at the bottom where I can go to the other stuff that he offers. Uh, but right here are the five tools and then they could literally sign up and, uh, and be able to put the information and, and get the five tools, download it right from his app. Um, they have a feature like click to call. Um, you have uh, lead capture capability. So if they want to inquire, they want to input information. Uh, I can literally type click to call and it would start calling them directly, integrate social media. Uh, I mean, anything that you'd like to do uh, that you want to integrate, any website um, that you have, you can do so in this one platform. And it gives you one link now that you can share with somebody. Like you can get your own, uh, like you go to Manny's app dot com not apps if you take off the s that goes to my actual app if you put on the s that goes on to the whole platform itself that you can uh you can sign up and, and check out your own app and build out your own app for yourself as well and the cool thing is that these are professionally built you know we have our own team that creates all the graphics all the buttons make sure that it's professionally look nice uh if you need to we can even create you a logo so uh we can do everything from the ground up so what i want to do is just get you guys going on some type of mobile marketing get yourself uh, a mobile website, um, get yourself, you know, something that helps you optimize yourself for mobile and just start marketing yourself on mobile. One of the cool things you can do on Facebook is you can even target market uh, app users on Facebook. So let's say you get your own app and you want to start marketing it to people that have an Apple device or who have Android devices. You can literally go on Facebook and say, I want to target small business professionals that are um, Apple users only. And then you say, do you have an iPhone? You know, download my app, you know, learn how you can be a business professional and how you can make money online or whatnot. So it's just all kinds of great things that you can do. Um, another way you can utilize it for marketing purposes is having your own team app. I'm building out a team app right now where uh, they're going to be able to have everybody that they prospect with and that they uh, that they have on the team download this app so they can see all the resources that are available with the team uh, and it incentivizes them so all the links that go to signing up they says hey go whoever sent you here sign up uh, contact that person to get self signed up so you never have to worry about you know getting somebody signing up on the app um, that you were trying to prospect or something so it's a great way for the whole team to have one inclusive way to go to for all the training because you can do like multiple YouTube channels on this one app so if you got a bunch of power hitters on your team that have their own YouTube channel and they all do weekly marketing, coaching and stuff like that, you can have them all on this one app. Uh, so that's really cool there. Um, the push notifications feature. So whenever you have new team calls, new team events, send out a push notification. Hey guys, conference call coming on in, in 10 minutes. See you guys there. Here's the access code or hey guys, quick change to the conference call. Uh, you know, the, the access code has been changed. I had that happen a couple of times. Um, how you know what's the quickest way to be able to reach people pick up their phone and call them or give them a text message instead of doing a mass text on your phone and coming out through a multimedia message and you know trying to add everybody add everybody add everybody no you just go into your thing send it out hey guys conference call this now you send it to all the prospects that need to get on the call and all the people that would be on the call that are already on your team so uh, those are just some of the tips that you guys can do with some of the things on mobile I hope this gave you a little bit of insight of how you can utilize mobile. Uh, any questions that you have, I would love to hear from you. As you can see, my cell phone is right below this number here. Text me, call me, let me know what you think. I like to hear from you and uh, let's, you know, let's uh, hear from what you guys are doing. So uh, that'll be it for today. I will be back next week. I've got a couple things in the works on, uh, on different coaching stuff. I'm going to be starting this. Um, I'll share with you guys once it's all up because I don't want anybody copying me in starting it out before me you know so once it's all up and running i'll let you guys know exactly what we're doing but it's a really cool thing it'll be like a daily tip thing that we're going to be handing out uh or to be sending out to you guys and uh you know we'll be able to get access to there so let me know what you guys think um i will see you guys next week and you guys have a great one talk to you soon